Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome back to another video in my Alienware Aurora R3 series. Now in this video I'm going to be installing a different SSD into the PC and it's a crucial M4 SSD, 128 gigabytes, and this is the full hard drive replacement kit so it includes some extra goodies inside the box as well. So to kick this video off let's have a look inside the box and we'll see what we get inside here now we have got obviously the solid state drive itself so I'll just pop that to one side we'll have a closer look at that in a moment we also get this uh, serial ATA to USB connector and this is what we're going to use to actually connect the drive to the PC and then we're going to clone across the operating system onto the new drive. So excellent that we get that inside the packaging. We also get some quick start guide. This is gonna guide us through how to use the data transfer kit and also some installation instructions as well, how to install the SSD. We also get a disc with the software on. So this has got on the disc, let's have a look, for the PC. We've got software called Easy Gig 4, cloning software with data select, manual data sheets, and for the Mac, Shirt Pocket Super Duper. I think it's a light version of the software. Let's have a very quick look at the drive itself. So in here, we should have the drive. And as I say, this is the uh, Crucial M4 128 gigabyte drive and this offers up speeds of up to uh, 6 gigabits per second. It's also backwards compatible with um, uh, SATA 3 gigabits per second connections as well. So this is the front of the drive, we've obviously got the connectors here and then on the back we've got some details and a little warranty sticker in the corner there. We've also got on the side little mounting screws as well or mounting holes so we can put this into an adapter bracket and get it installed into my Alienware Aurora R3. So let's get this up and running and then we'll do a benchmark of the Crucial M4 SSD. Okay so what I've done so far is I've connected the serial ATA uh, adapter cable which converts this to USB to the SSD and I'm going to connect this to my Alienware Aurora R3. So now that's all connected up to the Aurora R3, I've put the CD in the drive and you're presented with this autoplay menu, various options on here and I've chosen the run EasyGig 4 software. And once it's up and run you're presented with this, it says cloning as easy as 1, 2, 3. So let's click let's get started and see if it really is that simple. It says here you can uh, clone a computer's hard drive to an external hard drive in just three simple steps. So at the moment it's scanning the system for connected drives. And here we go, it's actually come up with my internal SSD, also my 2 terabyte data drive and the USB connected Crucial M4 SSD down here. It's telling me to select the source drive, so I'm going to select this one here, which is that Samsung drive that's already inside. And I've got a little speed test icon here. I'm not sure what this is, but I'm going to click next anyway. And now it's telling me to select destination drive. So I'm going to select that new Crucial M4 SSD there and click next again. You are almost ready to clone. Verify the source and destination drive. So we've got some verif verification up the top here telling me my source is the 830 series and the destination is that one I've connected via USB. So let's click next and I'm now given the option to start the clone and one more click start copying so a little bit more than three clicks but very very simple process and I'll be back to you to bring you a benchmark test on the Crucial M4 once the Windows operating system has cloned across to the new drive.
So the Windows operating system has cloned across to the Crucial M4 SSD and I've got the AS SSD benchmark software installed. So I'm going to run this and see what sort of performance we get out of this new solid state drive. Now bear in mind this is connected over a SATA 3 connection so we should get some really good read and write speeds and the sequential read speed is completed already 496.94 megabytes per second and a write speed of 197.91 megabytes per second I was sort of expecting a little bit better on the write speed to be honest on that but the read speed is absolutely phenomenal 4K write speed has completed giving us a 59 0.86 megabytes per second write speed and now it's just running through the read test as well so that's the 4k read test completed 25.82 megabytes per second so a respectable score there and then the 4k 64 third write speed coming in at 146.35 and the read speed 287.73 and that equates to an access time on the read of 0 0.099 milliseconds and on the right 0 0.202 milliseconds now if memory serves me right that's a little tiny bit slower than the Samsung Series 830 solid state drive that was in there before scores though overall 363 on the read 226 on the right and 769 overall what I'm looking at here is the actual sequential read speed really good solid performance at 496.94 megabytes per second so this is the crucial 128 gigabyte M4 SSD thank you very much for watching please come back soon and check out more videos on the Geek and Noise channel <laughs>